Hello, welcome to this Excel 2016 tutorial video presented by the CIS Sandbox at Bentley University. My name is John and today we're going to be talking about absolute and relative references. This is referring to cells and how the other cells are going to refer to them. This is extremely important to understand because you're going to be using them in different functions and these different functions need to know whether or not to change cell when another cell gets dragged over or when I change column the same exact instance so here we go we're gonna check out the earnings made each day by these individuals using relative references and we're going to include one absolute reference that we will be using the hourly wage so here we go we're gonna hit equals and our relative reference is going to be hours. So we click here and this is a relative reference. We can see that this is relative because there are no dollar symbols before the column name and before the row name. Now we're going to multiply this by their hourly wage. This way we can get their earnings for the day. We're going to make this an absolute reference. This is never going to change throughout this entire column here. So we're going to hit dollar sign here, and put a dollar sign here, and hit enter, and there we go. That is the earnings for the day. Now if we were to drag this down, it would update. Let me check out the formula here. You can see, again, this is a relative reference, and the absolute reference still refers to the hourly wage. This never changed. And here, this changed from being cell C10 to cell C11 because we moved down. So I'm going to get rid of this data, and we're going to go through it again. So here we have the equal sign, and we hit here and do the same procedure. When we come to this point, we can actually hit F4 on your keyboard, and it'll pop up with an absolute reference. Now if we hit F4 again, it's going to change, so we can see that it only makes the row an absolute reference and here it'll make the column an absolute reference but we really want to just remain with d7 being our absolute reference so let's go back to that one more time we're going to choose cell c12 we're going to multiply it by d7 now we can make this column also an absolute reference column by changing the C to dollar sign C. This means that it will never change the column. We know that it won't change the column because we go down the whole way and it shouldn't change but even if we were to drag it over it won't change because we're in the same row and we're never changing the hourly wage because that is also an absolute reference. So if we did not have this here, we delete this, we change this back. Oop, I'm sorry, I messed that up. Hit enter. We drag this over again. It's gonna come up with a, a another number because now it's taking cell D twelve and multiplying it by D seven. Since the column change because we never made it an absolute reference column. Let me delete this and again I'm gonna add oh I'm gonna make this an absolute reference column. We're gonna drag this down and we can see all of them are the same and we could even drag it over and they remain the same because now it is an absolute reference column and we are always have an absolute reference on the hourly wage. Thank you, and check out the CIS Sandbox for more help on this subject. Thanks, have a great day.